All right, so before we can start classifying the elements in the model, first we need to identify what exactly we're classifying. So let's take a little tour of this uh, city. So it's uh, designed to be one street, as you can see, and uh, we have a bunch of different glasses and cups and all these things around it, which are supposed to represent buildings. So right over here, we have uh, a cup from uh, Mississippi State University. That's the college I went to, Hale State. So that'll be our college building in town. And right across from that, you can see some shot classes. So we'll make them bars, which makes sense. Right across from the college, we have our party corner. So besides that, what else do we have here? We have these uh, similar looking buildings. We'll call them uh, office buildings because usually they tend to look alike. Um, and then we have these uh, controllers. We'll call on them GameStop and the other can be uh, Dave and Busters. Gotta keep the people happy. Moving on, we have uh, Icy Hot. Now that's gonna be our hospital. And right across from that, you can see that bottle of pills of, uh, what is that, caffeine pills. So that'll be our pharmacy right across from the hospital. Uh, and the last thing we'll end up labeling is this thing. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. Maybe it's a Starbucks. It's kind of big for a Starbucks. Maybe it's an amusement park. Um, I don't know. So we'll, we'll figure that one out. So these are the elements that we're going to classify. So in order to start doing that, let's go ahead and start making some shapes around these elements. All right, so once we have the basic shapes, the next thing we need to do is extrude these solids so we can cover the entire element within a solid. And we can use the solid by extrusion tool for that. So let's go ahead and do that and cover these elements up. Okay, so now we're almost there with the classifiers. The last thing we need to do is move these classifiers up, like maybe a couple centimeters just to get them off the table, because there's a part of the table that touches the classifier as well, and we don't want that to be included in the final element uh, geometry. All right, with that, we are almost done. One last step left. All we need to do is add some properties, some business value to these objects. So we identified them previously with some labels. In order to do that, what we do is we attach these items to the different elements. And the way we can do that is uh, we have to define a class of how what sort of properties we're adding. So in this case, we're just going to come up with a very basic schema. Let's call it Table City. It's got one type of class in there, the building. And then the building has a couple properties. Uh, let's give building type and building name. Okay, so we have everything we need. We can go ahead and take this DGN file and push it into the iModel hub using the iTwin synchronizer and pop open designer view. And over here, you can see our final classified model. So let's see if we can click on some elements. So let's click on these office buildings. And over here, you can see the properties. You can see the building type, building name, office. And let's check out our GameStop. You can see the properties change when I switch the element. And then the Dave and Busters. We got our bars over here. And what I want you to pay attention to here is the detail of the, the data, first off, and also the selection. Uh, it's selecting the entire mug as if it was an element that I designed. And I have no design experience, as I said. I wouldn't know how to design a Mississippi State mug or an Xbox controller, but the fact that I was able to create a digital twin based on those elements out of nothing, that's the key idea behind classifiers. We have our hospital, and of course, we have our Starbucks-themed amusement park. So that's all I have. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy this presentation.